The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. Those I can't catch a break guys, yeah. get them the fuck away from me. I can't, I can't be around those guys. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't buy it. Because everybody has bad breaks. Yeah. I've had a shit ton of bad breaks. But you know what I did? I, I stayed up. Yeah. And I thought through it. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. You have, there's no purpose in your life. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, there's no um, I'm going to get into school to be this or that. It's still perform. You're going to lose sleep. You'll doubt whether it'll work. You'll stress to make ends meet. You won't finish your to-do list. You'll wonder whether you made the right call and have no way to know for years. This is what hard feels like, and that's okay. Everything worth doing is hard, and the more worth doing it is, the harder it is. The greater the payoff, the greater the hardship. If it's hard, good. It means no one else will do it. You wanna be ordinary? You ain't even gotta listen to me. Just go about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. Fucked up everything I've ever done a hundred times. There's no way to other. There's no other way to do it. And I've had a bunch of shitty breaks. Everybody has. But you gotta realize when you have those shitty breaks what that is. You gotta be like, bro, you gotta fucking stop. You gotta stop with all this I can't catch a break bullshit. All the time you're complaining, you could be instead hustling. You could be instead chasing your dream. You could be instead figuring out what you're doing wrong, trying to improve certain aspects of your life, getting your shit together, reading a book, meditating, something. Fucking something. But you're up too old. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or still to be happy about? You're up too old. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. Okay. Inside, baby. Side to side. Move your head. Watch him now. Watch him. Right? Remember, he's got two hands, right? Damn, man, what the hell are you doing? This guy will knock you on your ass. Come on, Rock. It's not a game. You want to live in the hospital for five weeks this time? You thought I was tough this time, too? Come on, come on. Get your head on your shoulders. What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm gonna hold on to it. And that's the thing about that I was telling you that I always talk about. It's nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't fucking do it. That's why losing in life is so important. Whether it's getting dumped, getting fired, losing a game, lo loss. Those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important. Because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when mm. it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better.